Hello everybody and welcome to Bangladesh. Today we will be making paneer biryani. Feel free to pause the video here and have a read of the ingredients. We will begin by prepping our paneer. Chop your paneer block into bite-sized cubes. Now transfer your cubes to a plate and add a quarter teaspoon of salt, turmeric and chilli powder. Coat each paneer block evenly in all the spices. Set these aside. Now very finely slice your onions. To a large pan, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil and allow this to get hot. Once your oil is hot, add dried bay leaves, cinnamon sticks, cardamom, cloves and cumin seeds. Fry these gently in the oil for around a minute. Once your spices have become aromatic, add your onions and stir this through. Cook this for around 6-7 to seven minutes until the onions become soft and brown. Stir occasionally to make sure the onions do not burn or catch to the bottom and sides of the pan. Once your onions have browned, add ginger paste and garlic paste and stir this thoroughly into the onions. Cook the onions with the garlic and ginger for around a minute before adding your spices. Stir your powdered spices thoroughly into the onions to make sure they are evenly distributed. Let these cook into the onions for around 3 minutes. Once your spices have cooked through and your onions have darkened in colour, Add your tomato puree or crushed tomatoes and stir this into the onions. Now add your salt and stir this through. Cook the tomatoes and onions together for 3 to 4 minutes. You now want to completely reduce the heat to the lowest setting and add your yoghurt. Combine the yoghurt with the tomatoes and onions until the curry lightens in colour. Now allow the mixture to cook until it begins releasing oils. You can see here in the video that the oil has started to bubble up. Add 
At this stage add around half a cup of water to loosen the curry. Cover and allow this to simmer for around 8-10 to 10 minutes on the lowest heat whilst we fry our paneer. Make sure you stir the curry ever so often so that it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. To a large frying pan, add around 1 tablespoon of oil and allow this to get hot. Now add your paneer from earlier and fry these for 30 seconds on each side. You want to fry the paneer until a crispy golden skin forms on each side. Once the paneer has darkened and become crispy, drain from the oil and set aside. At this point you may want to check on your curry again. If you find that it has thickened too much, you may want to add more water to loosen it again. At this point, remove the curry from the heat and set aside. Now to a large pan, add around 8 cups of water. To your water, add salt, chilies, spices and a tablespoon of lemon juice and let this come to a rolling boil. Now add your washed and soaked basmati rice. Cook the rice in the water until it is around 50% cooked. At this point you can remove the spices from the water if you wish. Now drain the rice from the water and set aside. Return your curry to the heat and allow it to heat up for around 2 minutes. Once it has started bubbling again you can now add your paneer and very gently stir this through. Make sure to not break the paneer pieces by stirring too hard. Follow this by adding a handful of coriander. Stir these together gently and cook for around a minute. After this has cooked for a minute, evenly distribute the paneer across the bottom of the pan. Now on top of the paneer, add your rice from earlier. Make sure to evenly distribute it across the whole of the pan. Top the rice with around 4-5 to five ladles of your rice water. Make sure to pour the water evenly across all surfaces of the rice. Now top the rice with some knobs of ghee. You could optionally add around 2 teaspoons of yellow food colouring. 
This does not add any flavour but helps to give the biryani its classic appearance. Now cover your pan and allow the rice to fully cook. This will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Once your rice is cooked, the biryani is ready to serve. This can be enjoyed on its own and we enjoy garnishing it with some crispy fried onions. If you liked our video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and comment down below if you give any of our recipes a try.